Welcome back, people. Um, I've been using this boot for quite a while now, for about two, three weeks, something like that. And again, there's other issues within the boot that fall short, and that's why I said in the in, the, in my review, what we what you should do is go and download the downloadables. I'm going to give you a, a, a prime example of why you should download the downloadables in this thing in this video. Basically, I'm going to take you in a minute to the computer and show you what I mean. Either way, let's get on with my first example of most of the things he show you know, 50 50. I'll say 50 50. This is an example for decisions and loops. Uh, decisions and loops. And this is what it's all laid out quite nice. There is all of the HTML, and here is all. All of the JavaScript. Now we've got this one here. It's in the C C04 folder, and it's called example.html. So you you got to create a uh, in you got to create a C04 folder if you're doing it following it along, of course. Create an example HTML. Put this code in it. Save it as that. Then create a a, a C04 folder inside a JS folder. An example JS. So you save this code as an example JS in the JS folder inside the chapter four folder. Either way, if you're following it along and typing it out, this is easy to follow because it's all of the HTML is here, except there's one sticky bit inside this code, and the code that's the sticky bit is that bit there that says images image source images teacher PNG. Now, if you haven't downloaded the downloadables, you're not going to get that. So do you type all that out and then dip into the downloadable files and just get the images out? Or do you take my, my advice in trying to understand what he's attempting to do here and read this, take that concept and learn it some more. Try your own techniques into doing different things, changing the code, play around with the code. That's what I would do. So I wouldn't type everything out. Everything's done for you. The downloadables folder is where it's all at. But again, if he falls short here in the images, you've got you've got to download the downloadables to get that images to make it look good. Either way, this is how it should be laid out. HTML, all of it, and there's the JavaScript. Brilliant. No qualms except the images bit there. But let's move on to the other example I wanted to show. Because I think it's this one. I'm at, I'm at here already. What channel is it? No, that's it. They wanted the yellow one. Because I had a question. Can you achieve everything within this book? Now, the jQuery bit, this was granted this was 2014. Yeah, this was this book was published 2014. So the jQuery version that he showcases here for uh, the first bit. So yeah, he talks about jQuery, what is why, what is jQuery, blah, blah, blah. The version that we're using in the book is a jQuery uh, 1.11.0. And I, I can tell you now, it, it's not that anymore. But he's downloaded the hard copy for the jQuery and put it inside the folder, okay? So he's got that inside the folder. But again, if you look very close to this, this HTML is not full. It says body, open body, closed body, and everything in there. But there's nothing at the top there to say, look, there's the CS. There's no CSS folder or CSS uh, file scripts to give it styling. So what 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 do we do there? Do you know what I mean? So it falls short on that bit at the top. All they had to do is include that bit at the top, and it was finished. But why couldn't we fit that in there? So the only way to see this in action, to see what you're missing, the missing bits of this HTML code, is, is to use the downloadables. Again, there's the JavaScript to make this work. That's a basic jQuery example. So the only way you can actually make some of the, to understand, I talked about the understanding of it in the last video when I reviewed this book. Unless you understand it, you're not going to see it. So that that prime example that I had beforehand, which I think was here, yeah, this was absolutely beautiful. To see it in all its glory, 
yeah there's the html from doggy type to end html that's what i was hoping to see over here in the jquery bit in all the bits it should have been there in every single he falls short in that side but the content of javascript and the learning of javascript it doesn't take away from that you learn a hell of a lot of stuff there's no no questions back but if you you are a newbie to it you're going to need to do one thing download this folder all right unzip it put it on your desktop or do something either way let me take you to the computer and we'll see what's inside this folder and you can see the difference between what we saw here for jquery the jquery and not just it's not just this one section there's quite a few not not really cutting the mustard when it comes to thinking you know what i mean showing you all the html code there's a little it falls short a little bit when it comes to doing that thing so if you look at the uh that first page everything inside J, this jquery chapter is based on yeah i find it in many people it's based on this one lat list he carries on doing this list all the way through it but every every html page is different because he does different i think different styles and different ones either way people he gives you most of the html for it but not all there it is but no css at the top so it falls short a little bit because he uses it says chapter chapter 07 basic html eight you know example basic example html and then basic example js so so inside these folders and a cs folder there is a basic example dot css for which he doesn't show you but i'll show you that now on the computer so like a flash you always you i'll take you to the downloadable folder and show you those two examples working so don't forget to do the downloadables and I'll see you guys in the computer in three, two, one. Welcome to the computer, guys. Uh, once you've downloaded the files to uh, to accompany the book and you've unpacked it and you've done a copy and paste it to your desktop, you should get a folder that looks like this. Double click the actual book content. And you get all the chapters from chapter 1 to chapter 13. You get a CS folder and you get an index, blah, blah, blah. Right, let's have a look at the uh, decision and loops in chapter 4. And I think it was called the example HTML. And it also gives you the JS. Can you see the format? All the CSS files are inside the CSS folder. All the images are in the images folder. And all the JavaScript files are in the JavaScript file, uh, folder. So we're looking at the example. Hopefully when I double click this, it should render for me. Because last time I tried this, it wouldn't render. I had little issues in, for, for example, it wouldn't it, it do it for me. It should be like a the teacher png etc it just takes for some reason it's taken a little longer than normal to render but this one is almost full because i showed you that chapter four it shows you all the html and all the javascript and you save it as files the only issues issues i think you'll have around anything is this jpeg down here this guy but basically you can see it now the javascript's adding three to one three to two and you can see that looping through until it gets to the end of a list that's basically what it's doing but again download the downloadables you can see it working so let's go back to this guy uh, the other example was in the jquery folder and if you look at the jquery side of it from the very first thing at the top like i mentioned it doesn't talk about the css folder or css file etc etc so if you double click on chapter 7 which is all jquery okay uh we were looking at the basic example yeah basic example html which is this one and i've already got that open in notepad job done and then inside the javascript file there should be one called basic example js which is there it is yeah but also if we go back to chapter 7 in the image in the css which he doesn't mention in the book 
But if you double click the CSS folder inside the chapter 7, there is a chapter 7 uh, 07 dot css for which he doesn't reference in the book in fact i just i've just reread it before i started to film this it literally doesn't even mention that file and actually there's quite a lot of css in there corresponding to this it doesn't say to you you've already written this out uh, in a previous chapter and we're just reusing it it doesn't even acknowledge the css folder or the css file it doesn't show you where to put it in the HTML, so it, it falls short a little bit. But let me show you these these things anyway inside Notepad. Here's the basic example for jQuery, and you can see that at the bottom you have to reference the version of jQuery you're using, and then on, straight underneath it we use our basic example .js for which he's got it in the book. And if you want to look at the the example the JS, there's the JavaScript file and it matches what he's got in the book. Great. But what he shows us for the HTML, it doesn't because he's got this bit at the top there. Style sheets, airif, c07.cs, it doesn't match it. The title JavaScript, JavaScript J, in, in, introducing jQuery, bake example. Do you know I mean all that there? This bit, bit at the top there, it doesn't show you this bit the JS file and inside the JavaScript in a CSS file he imports um, something from Google for a Google font and take a look at this people all of that is not inside the JS folder it's not even in there <laughs> so this is why I say you have to download the downloadables to fully grasp the understanding at least then you can see how he's making look background image uh, king logo png blah 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 you can see how what he's doing how he inter how he brings css and the html together then create the javascript to make things work without this understanding of these folders and th these files these three files for jquery you wouldn't get it let's close that down we don't need that close down then let's open up uh, this folder again and we should have somewhere in chapter 7 uh, the in the JS folder we should have the jQuery section somewhere there it is see he's downloaded the hard copy of jQuery 1.11.0 so he's downloaded the hard copy it looks like everything that you get in here for J for jQuery is tailored to that one version that's not to say it won't work at other versions it might do but the i want to i had a question does everything in the book can everything in the book be achievable i'm going to say yes it can but it falls short so basically you're going to have to download the the downloadables to every one read everything open up that particular chapter you're looking at so let's say let's try chapter two let's go for um, string operator double click string operator and you get this do you know what I mean it's probably put that holy holy moly ho, ho, howdy mole, molly inside there via javascript via a string add-on type of thing without even looking at it do you know what I mean but where do you get all this from? To make it look like this and to understand what's going on in here, that's why I say download the downloadables, take a look at what it, the concept, read all that bit that he's trying to introduce you to, open up the folder, open up the file, and then take that a bit further, your own study, go further with that idea, and then create your own file and do something different. Not not do, do some different content, but do the same thing but your version that's what I would say so hopefully I've shown you and what you should be doing with the downloadables hopefully you understand what I'm trying to get across and yeah I did mark this 8 out of 10 again it falls short with the HTML and also showing you full full HTML to show you the CSS and all the bits and so it, it falls short again so at the moment 
I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 for that reason. So other than that, if you are a newbie to this, you're going to have to download the downloadables to make it understand everything. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and uh, me showing you the different chapters within the book. And well, not all of them, of course, but the two I wanted to show was uh, number four and number seven because I had a question Do, can everything be achievable? I'm going to say yes, it can be achievable. It's just a matter of understanding the concept. And if you try, if you went just solely off the book and you weren't, you didn't do the downloadables, you wouldn't understand it, people. So you're sort of forced to download the downloadables and I would advocate to do that. So thanks for watching guys and I'm going to say thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye now. Bye.